Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that India has set an armaments export target of $5 billion by 2025 to achieve self-reliance in developing and building weapons and platforms. While India had already achieved $1.75 billion of defense export in 2022, it is targeting for $2.37 billion of export in 2023. In order to boost the defense export, India is carrying out reforms in military attaches deployment abroad. India is redeploying military attaches to countries where they can help to increase domestic defense exports. The move will also reduce the number of military officers stationed in states from which country traditionally imports military equipment. The officers will be focused on Africa, Southeast Asian nations, and Middle East. The government is also going to allow attaches to promote the sale of hardware manufactured by private sector of the country. The reform makes perfect sense as India is moving towards the self-reliance in defense manufacturing and reduce its import dependency. Therefore, there is no point in maintaining a significant number of attaches in countries which have been exporting weapon system to us. The Western countries promote sale of their hardware in India or other countries with their military personnel accompanied by sales team to make the pitch. India is also going to follow the same strategy. The Indian defense attache can play a pivotal role in understanding the defense requirements of respective country and can promote the export of Indian defense products in their respective countries. India is offering its key home-built weapons and platforms including Tejas fighters, light combat and utility helicopters, Akash missile batteries, artillery guns, Pinaka rocket launchers, besides armored vehicles, mobility vehicles, drones, lottery munitions, small arms, offshore patrol vessels, interceptor crafts, communication and surveillance equipment. After the successful export of BrahMos missile system worth $374 million to Philippines, the BrahMos aerospace is looking for sealing another deal with Indonesia worth $200 million. The deal will reportedly involve both anti-ship variants of BrahMos weapon system and a version that can be mounted on a warship. The BrahMos Aerospace is also expecting second order of BrahMos missile system worth $300 million from Philippines. Thailand, Malaysia and Vietnam have also expressed interest in purchasing the BrahMos weapon system. In 2022, India has also concluded the defense deal worth $250 million to supply Armenian armed forces with Pinaka MBRL, anti-tank munitions and a wide range of ammunitions and war-like stores. In 2020, India had exported $43 million order to supply four Swati weapon locating radars to Armenia. It has also been reported that India is close to seal another deal for export of guided Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launch system. However, the name of country has been not yet disclosed. The contract is expected to be finalized in upcoming months. On 20th September 2023, the Indian Air Force Chief, Air Chief Marshal V.R. Chaudhary has said that Indian Air Force will post its officers as additional defense attaches in Armenia, Spain and Ivory Coast. The move will boost India's defense export of its indigenous aircraft such as LC Tejas and helicopters such as LH Dhruv and LCH Prashant. Indian Air Force will also post a licensed officer in the American Pacific Air Command. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.